This elderly Republican senator thinks that Gen Z is being brainwashed by progressives. Watch this. Particularly young women in, in the Gen Z generation, 10 or 11 to, um, to 25 and 26. Uh, they're living their lives on social media. And it is, they're not developing interpersonal relationships. It's making them very fragile. It's, it's uh, reaffirming this, this culture of victimhood. Um, they're not getting ready for the world. This comes from a well-worn and frankly tired line of reasoning coming from more classical Republicans who somehow think that current conversations around race or gender are the fantastical imaginations of entitled young children. And this outdated sentiment is a clear sign of how out of touch the American government is with the current conversations around identity and politics. Young people are fronting and criticizing these institutions and Republicans are not here for it. What this ultimately reveals about the American governing system is a failure to accurately and concurrently represent the constituencies it's trying to embrace. It's evolving into what some people have considered calling a gerontocracy. And looking at the facts, it's not so hard to understand why so many people think this way. And with things only worsening under the compounding powers of capitalism, in the American democratic system that consolidate power to the select few, who then age into political office and become out of touch with their people, their bases. And this wouldn't be as bad if only these weren't the legislators designing policy. Policy that intentionally misunderstands and undermines young people's political and social aspirations. Like in this clip where this Republican senator claims that progressives are invading young people's minds with the concept of one gender. Watch this. Why don't you talk a little bit about in the United States Senate, you know, how, how are you pushing back? How is the Senate and how are Republicans uh, on Capitol Hill uh, pushing back against the Biden administration? And well, every day it's something new. Yeah. Uh, they're coming after family. <clears throat> they want to divide family. They don't want any gender. They want one gender. Uh, they want to attack everything that we've done over the years and go by their, their ideology. And they know, the left knows, especially the far left, the, the progressives, the crazies, they know that if they can get to our young kids, then it will change everything just in a short period of time. And they've been able to do that. And I heard the ensuing conversations around ideas like critical race theory or gender are not novel. They're not a tactic of contemporary progressive communities to brainwash Gen Z youth. It is a consequence of having an access to a wealth of knowledge through the internet and a means of effectively collectivizing that is brandishing a new wave of enlightened and dynamic young progressive thought leaders who do not take Republicans at their word when they say that things have always been in this way because we know that they haven't and that they can change for the better. These conversations are driven by an intellectually curious and radically connected bunch, a front of young people who champion justice, equality, and curiosity, and are unafraid to question classical social frameworks that limit their autonomy and their growing identity. It speaks to the namesake of what progressives are known for, Progression, moving forward, a paradigm shift that recontextualizes the political conversations we're having today, and that unlocks centuries of oppressive infrastructure that Republicans have designed to reinforce existing power dynamics. It's a threat to those that hold the power. But time is the ultimate equalizer, and progressives fight for the change of the future today. This is Agent Coast of the Breakdown. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.